welcome dear students how are you all i hope you are doing good at your place in this session we shall be discussing about the rocks and minerals a chapter from class 5 evs i hope at the end of this session you will be able to understand the different types of rocks and minerals you will also be able to know how these rocks and minerals are formed first of all let us see what is a rock rocks are hard materials made up of one or more minerals or we can say in simple words a rock is a solid made up of a bunch of different minerals the earth is made up of several layers of rocks the solid parts of the earth's crust are called rocks different types of rocks comprise a major part of the crust rocks continuously transform between the three rock types in a process called rock cycle as shown in the picture there are three main types of rocks these rock types are part of a slow cycle of matter called rock cycle there are three main types of rocks on the basis of formation these types are igneous rocks sedimentary rocks and metamorphic rocks igneous rocks the interior of earth is very hot it is filled with a molten and semi molten rock mixture called magma this hot magma pours out through the cracks or by the way of a volcanic eruption due to the in intense heat and pressure deep inside the earth the magma that flows out of a volcanic eruption is called lava the molten magma or lava when cools down solidifies into a rock and such rocks are called igneous rocks igneous means fire formed igneous rocks are the oldest type of rocks on the earth igneous rocks can be classified into three types granite pumice basalt granite it is the most common igneous rock and is formed when magma cools down slowly under the ground granite is found in four colors gray pink deep red and black it even has a silvery glitter to it it is a strong and durable rock and can easily be polished granite is used in historical monuments tombs construction of buildings roads and pavements pumice pumice is a unique light and porous rock formed when the molten lava cools very quickly during this rapid cooling gases get trapped inside it and then escape through the pores thus making it look like a sponge with small holes and pockets inside it this makes pumice so porous that it can float on water pumice is light and used to polish furniture and floors it is also used in polished pencil erasers and as a body scrub dentists 
use a powdered form of pumice to polish teeth. Basalt Basalt is a dark colored igneous rock with a glassy finish. This rock is the most commonly occurring rock on the earth's crust, especially the ocean floor. Basalt is formed when lava cools quickly and hardens into a solid rock. It is commonly used in construction to add strength. It is also used by goldsmiths to test purity of gold. Sedimentary rocks Rocks that are exposed to force of nature such as wind, rain, hail and intense heat of sun wears out over time. This process is called weathering of rocks. This causes them to wear out particle by particle. These particles or sediments get carried away by wind and rain to rivers, lakes and seas where they slowly sink down to the bottom and settle down in layers. The weight of the sediments on top squeezes the sediments in the lower layers, thus forming rocks. About 75% of Earth's land surface is covered by sedimentary rocks, but they constitute only 5% of the Earth's crust by volume. Types of sedimentary rocks Conglomerate, sandstone, shale and limestone. Conglomerate This rock consists of coarse gravel, stones, pebbles which solidifies into an uneven rock. It even shows patches of different color. The conglomerate is used for building construction and is also seen in decorative tiles. Sandstone As the name suggests, sandstone is made up of sand particles and rock grains cemented with some minerals. It contains mostly quartz grains and is a soft rock, mostly yellow, brown, red and pink in color. The red fort in Delhi is made up of red sandstone. Shale It is a fine-grained sedimentary rock made up of clay and mud deposited as silt on river beds and at the mouth of rivers. Shale is mostly used in tiles, bricks and pottery items. It is also used to make cement by adding limestone to it. Limestone Limestone is a commonly found sedimentary rock and is mainly made up of the mineral calcite. Some of it is formed in the seas when bits of rock, coral, shell and skeletal remains of tiny sea creatures sink down to the seabed. Over a period of time, several layers of this sediment collect and compress to form limestone. Limestone is also found in the form of chalk hills or cliffs on the earth's crust. Limestone is used in making bricks, glass and cement. Chalk is also a type of limestone. Metamorphic rocks Metamorphic rocks are formed 
when igneous and sedimentary rocks that have been buried deep inside the earth undergo changes due to the intense heat and pressure present there the word metamorphic itself means to undergo a change in form types of metamorphic rocks quartzite marble rock slate gneiss nice. quartzite quartzite is formed from sandstone it is used in making statues but being a very hard material it cannot be used as a building material marble marble is formed from limestone marble can be carved and polished easily therefore is widely used we often find marble in monuments and statues it is also a popular flooring material slate slate is hardened shale a sedimentary rock slate is used in making blackboards slate and the roofs of the houses nice nice is a metamorphic rock of granite and has attractive streaks of light and dark bands nice is used sometimes as flooring tiles minerals and ores rocks are made of substances called minerals they occur naturally on the earth or deep inside it minerals are usually solid and are not of any plant or animal origin some minerals are extracted from the sea salts present in sea water diamond and graphite are minerals found below surface of the earth rocks may contain one or many minerals metals such as iron copper aluminum occur as part of the rock rocks contain useful metals in a large quantity along with unwanted substances are called ores there are two types of minerals metallic minerals and non metallic minerals metallic minerals those minerals that contain metal and are used to make wires coins pots and pans machines and parts of vehicles non metallic minerals diamond and graphite are the examples of non metallic minerals we can identify many minerals by carefully observing their physical properties like hardness color and luster the hardness of a few minerals is determined with a scratch test shown in picture minerals in our daily life our earth is a rich resource it provides us everything that we need rocks and minerals are the raw materials earth provides us these raw materials play an important part in our lives we depend upon rocks and minerals for building materials fertilizers tools fuel and even computers we dig mines to extract 
the minerals very often at the cost of the environment. Rocks and minerals are the oldest resources. I hope you have understood the classification and characteristics of rocks and minerals and uses of these rocks and minerals in our daily life. Thank you.